Mm. Your yes. potluck seems to have been, once again, another success. We'll talk about that later. No, no. Oh, there we go. No, no. We'll talk about that later. What is Dallas eating? Yeah, She's eating Dallas my bourbon eating? chicken. You see my pasta salad right there in the uh, We will talk about your pasta salad later. <laughs> well, we have five hours to talk about this, Jason, believe me. If Jason and I pulled up in the driveway at the same time today. Same time there. So we were carrying our We're both carrying our items dishes. for the potluck. He's carrying a massive bowl. I'm like, holy mackerel, I'm carrying like one small plate. I'm proud of you. A for participating. Yes, there is pasta all over my apartment. <laughs> Just noodles everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess. Still cleaning up from it. All right, let's go to the wind advisory for the mountains and the desert areas. This is in effect until uh, tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock in the morning. Some of the strongest winds as we go into tonight will be for the overnight hours in the mountain areas. The desert's going to get wind gusts as high as 50 to nearly 65 miles an hour. And you'll notice the wind advisory no longer in effect for the inland valleys as this ridge of high pressure starts to move off to the east. We'll show it to you right here and you can start to see there it is the center of it a little bit east of us right now. And so we're still getting those offshore winds, but starting to allow this storm system to move down from the north and from the west. The rain right now up through Seattle. There you can see it with the green color. As we go into the late night overnight hours as the onshore flow returns could pick up just a few light showers for the overnight hours tonight. As far as travel.